piece you guys are giving back. <laughs> there it is. I knew there was one more there. We're going to push the arms forward and down. Shoulders relax right there. Beautiful. So, got a lower thoracic adjustment. You're going to put some motion into his first cuneiform here. Stiff feet, again, usually a side effect of the kinetic chain of the low back, pelvis, drop the hips. Ah, just a little bit, huh? Going over this way. Wow, that was big. Yeah. This up, sir. And one. One in here, the neck breath in. And out. It's a big one. Yeah. yeah. Deep breath for me. Oh. Oh. There it is. Oh, oh. Alright, lay on your side facing this way. Woo! That was good. It's all is it your left hip that's uh always. Yeah, okay. Bring in. Good. Good. Head facing the opposite room. Right here. Breathe in. All the way out. Nice. Lay face up for me. Woo. Okay. Do a little decompression. Adjustment here. All right, relax here. Good. Next is going to be the talus. So with the talus, you know, I'm doing the also with the two hand type grab, and I'm going to be keeping the leg flat on the table like this when doing the talus adjustment. You know, she's feeling, <laughs> I see her facial expression up there. She, she's seen the talus move here. She's feeling it. Good. So also we did the talus bilaterally on each feet from high with this. So from here, she felt all of that move. Hold on, I'm going to just put you back on the table. I don't want to pull you off. And then same thing with this side. I'm going to bring up. Cavitations whenever I'm doing the drop pieces because the table's making so much noise. But look what that did for his leg length. See how it evened it out? So his legs are now even down there and up here. Did that hurt at all? No, sir. Good deal. So I'm going to move up into your lumbar spine now. There we go. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. Okay. There we go. Alright, now I'm adjusting both his shoulders, his clavicles, and his anterior rib cage. There, okay. Just relax your hands on your stomach there for me now, Jesus. Let me have this leg go like a limp rag. Yes, sir. You feel that from your knee all the way up to your little back? Yes, sir. Okay, let this relax in my hand here. Now let it go. That's better. That was better. Okay, let's sit you up and face that way, please. Yes, sir. Sit up and face that way. There you go. Good. You got up sideways. That was good. All right. Yep. I bet you didn't know your shoulders were out that much, huh? No. Okay. Nice deep breath through your nose. Yes, sir. Oh. Did you feel that all the way down? I know you did. Yeah. Good. Yeah, you're good. All right. Just lay 
your head in my hands as if you're sleeping. Yes, sir. Doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> Good job. This is lower cervical. This is C7 on the right. Down. Scoot down this mission right there. Right there, good. Good. So everybody who thinks, so everybody thinks that I'm doing atlas adjustments on those new patients all the time, uh, I'm not. That was an actual atlas adjustment right there. And if you watch my hand position, you watch what I do, you can see the difference. This is atlas. Good, right there. Thanks. This one is just going to start the process, okay? Easy. There. Come up slowly. Just normal breathing. Now I want to get a little deeper set than what we got there. Good. A little more. Gotcha. This being, this is swelling. This is all going to start to go. T11. I'm going to set it as a pi thumb piezy. Just so we can get a nice set on there. Can you drop your tummy for me? Gotcha. And give that a second. Awesome. From after when we went on the knee chest table yeah, and we did the mid yeah. back, what was the immediate feeling you got? It, Light it felt lighter. Yeah. Your shoulders, relax there. There. This is just tuning everything up. There you go. Looks like a cool handshake. What's that? Looks like a cool handshake. What's that? Oh, this? Yeah. Squeeze. There you go. Let's squeeze. Dr. Joseph Cipriano, and today we have our pregnant patient. Yes, my wife is pregnant again with our, going to be our second child coming. Um, so this time around, what we're going to be doing is we're going to go through each week of her pregnancy and we're going to, she's going to actually talk about the issues and everything that she's been feeling and noticing uh, during that week of pregnancy. And then I'll be going over chiropractically what I'm going to do for her, obviously to help just relieve a lot of the issues that she's been having. So we are what? Eight, eight weeks pregnant right now. So we've got quite a bit of time and we're going to be going over each week. Um, so what we're going to have you do, we're going to have you lay face down for me first. And then, so I always come through and the main thing that I come in and check is I look at the leg length. So we've got a little bit of a discrepancy here. It's not, if I push down real tight, it's not much, but that right leg is definitely shorter than the left thoracic junction, just because I always feel a little tightness in her trap. She holds a lot of tension right through here. Good. We start off, we get some good movement here. She was just a T1 on that left side, a little bit lower, about a T3 on this right here. 
And then, so that I know how you move very well, what I'm first going to have you do is I'm going to have you turn on your side and face me this way. Okay. Bend that top knee. Good. Perfect. Now I'm going to have you flip to the other side. Same thing over here. Perfect. Yeah. Before you <laughs> exactly. All right. So with her, one thing, especially now that I know that she is pregnant, I don't like doing any drops. You know, I just don't want to, you know, disrupt anything. It's completely safe with doing side posture adjustments. With laying on her belly right now is completely fine. She's still 100% able to. There isn't any type of bump or anything that has started just yet with the seated cervical adjustments. So we're going to start right through here. Good. Perfect. Okay. Let's push this back and sit right here for me. Feet that way. Okay. And now we're going to do the that anterior thoracic like this. Give yourself a big hug. The baptism. Yep, the baptism. <laughs> Take a deep breath in and exhale out. Oh. Okay, come on up. Yeah, you always start getting a lot of movement because when your back tends to kind of like cave over, just that opens everything up. All right, what I want to have you do, I'm going to have you stand up right in front of me. Bring your arms out like this to the side. Good. So let's get underneath all this hair here. Okay. Okay. Jeez. All right, hands over mine. Okay. I'm going to have you lean back on me okay. and squeeze your elbows together. Oh. <laughs> Good. And then, yeah, you also felt that one. Start moving all the way down. Good, yeah. So right from there, what we're doing is we're really getting a lot of... Um, motion in that upper thoracic part of the spine. The reason, um, especially when it comes to pregnant women, is over time, your breasts will start to enlarge and starts, your body is literally changing. You know, I know a lot of you guys do know this already. This is our Y, y strap. This is going to go around the base of her occiput. From here, I'm gonna have her laid down on her back and I do this Y strap in the Y axis direction. And as I traction towards the end, I give a light pull as a thrust. And what that does, she'll feel that adjustment from all the way up at the occiput going all the way down to the sacrum. It just opens up and relieves pressure off of all those nerves. So let's go ahead and get this started. Definitely going to be up. Thank you. No earrings in? No earrings. Okay, good. And I like the traction of the spine out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I heard that one. Are you expecting mothers out there? Well, as far as chiropractic, I truly, I'm 100% behind that. It, you know, it truly helped my birthing process, my whole pregnancy, um, you know, with him or having him adjust me throughout the whole process. It really did help me a lot. Um, if you are experiencing any kind of back pain or, you know, sciatic pain or, I mean, your body's just going through so much change, you will experience some kind of pain. Chiropractic care, I mean, I suggest that 100%. It has been amazing. Just, yeah, I remember even just random knee pains, yeah. just the most off the wall things. And, you know, I was adjusting you further along, I think almost daily it was. Yeah. But yeah, so she'll definitely be going over each week the progression, everything that she's feeling. And Absolutely. All right, I'm Dr. Joseph Cipriano, and if any of you women out there that are expecting, um, you are pregnant, and you've never had chiropractic care along with pregnancy, um, obviously my wife recommends it. She went through her entire first pregnancy, and I, it made a world of a difference. Yes, you know, there are so many different options out there, and chiropractic is such a natural, you know, non-invasive, just, you know, a very great technique. And, you know, if I can help relieve any type of issues, that, you know, and, and make it a smoother pregnancy for you, you know, I would love to do that for you.